Hello and welcome back to the last spell. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else we need to do, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into deployment. I'm pretty sure I've got everyone set up pretty well. Um, I think the only thing is Paloma might have to shift over a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, this 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 is gonna this is gonna go well, right? Should go well. I'm a little. The only thing that worries me a little bit is the boss. Um, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But um, we're not at the boss. Sorry, not to not to give you a scare there. But we have two more nights, including this one, before we have to do the boss. All right, here comes a ton of enemies. Nice. Nice. We got another uh, accursed, uh, I think elite accursed. So nice of those corpses to serve as like extra barriers. Oh, that this one little dude here is going to be a problem. That's fine. Let's um let's start by building up our damage. Miss. We can't be missing. Oh, I just realized this guy is like right next to. A whole bunch of dudes. Okay, so that's actually not ideal. Um, let's go ahead and use our quick slot as a shot. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move over, and I want to kind of separate a couple of lads. Actually, one more over would be good. So let's do like this one. Actually, we'll 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 kill both these lads. Um Okay, that was our our first kill on the end there. Let's kill this guy and this guy. I want to kill those two lads because uh then we can separate these two accursed. We want we want um Carmen to be able to take those those accursed out. And I'll kill this guy. I was just going to like go really go for it here. And it's a good thing I did. He, he's got not very good damage, you know? Um, I actually think this would be a great opportunity for an explosive bolt. Like right here. It would to use two action points, but it might kill like all of them. Let's try it. Oh, you know what? Okay, that was actually great. And we got so much isolation damage from that. Um, and I would like to kill this one, dude. We're gonna use a heavy bolt. I wasn't, uh, confident I'd actually be able to kill these dudes. And I actually want to use a potion of energy, like, already. Because we're doing, we're doing well. Things are going well. Let's, let's, you know, double down on good decisions. Uh, and then let's just kill this lad. Well, we didn't kill him, but, you know. Uh, I was gonna say, it actually wouldn't have been a bad use of like rain of arrows but it's fine and you know what um paloma paloma rarely gets to kill anyone we're gonna go ahead and let him do a little bit of cleanup is she is uh carmen still getting that no she's only getting eight so this is the only problem with paloma and carmen they they're great matchups um and actually honestly paloma would be good with isolation as well but the problem is is that he does kind of sap her damage a little bit by being close to her. But either way, that's this uh, side taken care of pretty handily. Over here, um, we're definitely going to want to do some... Oh, you know what? We want to entangle these guys. I think probably right away. I really don't want them to get too much closer, but I think we're going to be able to kill them like right now. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, uh, Patience has become kind of uh, a DPS queen. Oh, I didn't know that... Um, I didn't know that Propagation worked diagonally. Does it actually work diagonally? Uh, most potent negative alterations. I guess I always assume, assumed that it didn't work diagonally because isolation doesn't work diagonally. So why should it? You know, um, but anyway, this is this is great over here. Loving that. Um, over here, it's gonna. This is gonna be the one side I'm a little bit iffy on. Um, 
Okay, well, we do have two si two people watching this side. And we do want to just, like, do, like, a weakening touch debuff to all of them. And I'm going to try my old... The, the, uh, the method of spreading that as much as possible. So let's try and, uh, do that a little bit. Um... Let's, uh, first of all, I want to see if I can kill this guy here. I kind of want to, like, mm. All right, let's, let's do a weakening touch over here. I'm a little bit all over the place because I have to figure out, um, like, re relearn how, how my strategies work a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and throw, um, a contagion down over there as well. So we've got 23, um, wait, that's coagulation. Sadist plus opportunism. I don't know. Where are we at? Oh, it's plus 49% opportunism. So, um, at least on the next turn, he should be able to do some really good damage with a lightning bolt. Now, um, what do we want to do over here? We definitely want, need Natalie to do something. I actually think it would be easier for her to just come over here, even though it's going to cost... A move to get rid of that kind of want to just leave this winged guy um, for the ballistas to kill and Then we're gonna do um, a stomp And we're gonna spread contagion to these guys um, I mean it's not great. It's it's not not super um, encouraging, I will say, over there. Uh, now, what can we do with Jelenka? Jelenka, we could do propagation, or we can do propagation with our, our like mega stomp. We can also spread some contamination. I don't know. I I, I have to say this like whole like debuff crowd i don't think that they would be holding their weight very well if not for the fact that they had like a ridiculous number of ballistas backing them up maybe maybe i'm just not understanding how to use them properly okay let's do this this seems like oh wow we only stunned one of them i know these guys have like what 50 50 percent stun resistance and then we'll spread um con uh, contamination there and I do want to do um, a mega stomp. I think there's a good mega stomp here. Oh, wow. We don't have any movement left. Can we do them? Uh, I forgot that mega stomp is the only one that's like a close range. This, uh, this sledgehammer is kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not a huge fan of the sledgehammer. Let's just kill this guy with two follow-ups. Oh, I guess we can't kill him. Okay. I should have spread some more contagion so that we would have gotten a bit more opportunism. Uh, oh well. Paloma has stuff to do, but uh, that's fine. Let's just end our turn. Traps are going off. Ballistas are doing work. The ballista did not kill that winged dude over there. That's the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about. Luckily, our characters are very tanky right now. Now, that does suck. The The debuff action point is just a real bummer. Okay, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have Paloma over here kill a couple of lads just right away um, to separate them. And then I'm going to have him back away so that he uh th so that carmen can do what she does best perfect so let's have him back up carmen is gonna go pop 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 uh pop and then heavy bolt pop maybe oh the miss Miss twice? We need her to... We need her to raise her accuracy. That's unacceptable. I'm going to use a potion and hopefully we... Swear to God, if it had been another miss, I would have been upset. 
a potion to to rectify that is, is kind of unacceptable um patience actually can help with a couple of these winged bats that have managed to uh get inside well first of all we're just gonna go ahead and do a beasting over here just to just to kill that lot and then i think i can get away with um just her normal attack to to kill these two good enough doesn't need to be more complicated than that um over here it does need to be complicated because i do not know how to make a good situation out of this yeah i i don't know about natalie i i, I feel like maybe i've built her wrong but she's just not holding her weight also i guess this guy's resistance isn't hasn't been lowered so maybe that's my bad um let's just like back up jelenka and then i'm gonna go ahead and start with a lightning storm that's pretty good it's still not as good as you'd want though like it, it basically just got rid of armor it's just not um it's not what you want you know it's not what you want to see there's a little bit of good stuff going on here, but I personally, I feel like I've, I've done something incorrect. I'd like to figure out what that is. Okay, we've stunned that guy at the very least. Can we stun these lads? We are raising, raising our opportunism. This opportunism buff uh, annoyingly does not last forever. Like, uh, like it does for Carmen. Um, the fireball is good, but like, is it worth using? I mean, I guess so. I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to do this. We'll, we'll th sp spread a couple of contagions and then use a fireball and see what happens. Yeah, that's not it's not spreading is as, uh, as well. I guess I should just like uh, delegate Dan to to lowering every everyone's resistance and just like let the ballistas take them out. It's really a sad affair. Um but it yeah, I mean that's kind of where I'm at at this point. Um we could do a follow up to this guy. There we go. And may as well spread some contagion. It's it seems like a good idea. I this is one of the first like a few times I was like, um, well, I guess they don't have the poison effect, but so I, I if she had the poison effect, Jelenka, she she'd be doing a lot better, I think. Maybe instead of this stuff, but the the opportunism doesn't seem to be doing as much as you would hope. How did I spread poison over there? Someone is spreading poison and I'm not sure how. Um, is Natalie spreading poison? Oh yeah, she's she's got this epidemic set. Wow, I, I can't believe I didn't know that. How did I not know that? I, I gave that to her and I completely forgot I did that. Okay, so just like anyone with poison, we need to spread contagion to. Um, this, this changes things a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and spread the resistance debuff. And um, let's go ahead and spread it again. Oh, what? Oh, that was awful. I didn't know that realize he wasn't connected Propagation is not making much sense to me right now. I'm not sure why Um, yeah, that's really bad Okay, let's uh, maybe we could do like a mega stomp That's not bad And it also lowers their I didn't realize it actually debuffed their damage as well Okay, um, 
Natalie can still do stuff. Let's have her do stuff. I want to get like really in there. Okay, she did. That was a good crit. That was a really decent crit. Let's just get her in there and then she'll spread some poison and that'll be good. Um, patience. Patience. I think you, uh, we want you to like entangle these guys. And then um, do, do a couple of these poison shots. There too. Kind of my. Why don't we just go ahead and use our mana um, to to do one on that guy? Oh, that wasn't as good as we as I'd kind of hoped for. That's fine. Paloma, same story as before. We're gonna have you. Uh, that worked out really well before. We're gonna just like have you kill um, a couple of these lads. These guys are are way tankier than you'd think. Um, this guy too. Yeah, like, um, Paloma doesn't do a lot of damage, but where they lack in damage, they, they make up for it in Moxie and having a r absurd a number of, of action points. Um, yeah, we could get away with one of these. Let's just like have him do something. Okay, that's that should be good. We, we can have actually we should have him move away first so that um, Carmen gets her for full damage. And then she's just like absolutely tearing. Uh, I kind of just want to let her like leave her let's we'll give her the track benefit because it lasts three turns so she gets even more isolation damage um paloma actually we can do one more thing with paloma may as well make use of everyone like there's no reason that, you know we're, we're very comfortable over here over here i i'm a little bit worried i won't lie but hey look at that okay natalie is is doing something good and that is she's spreading that poison so so bad but one of these guys have, have snuck in and that's not good so we are generating um panic now this person here i i don't know how they snuck in they're they're getting in here and it's it's really not okay <laughs> um I, I, yeah, like, I, I don't think that it's, it's gonna, it's gonna work out with these three. Can we just kill this lad? Oh my god, two action points. Two action points is kind of awful. Really didn't mean, I meant to move over and it, it just didn't work out. Okay, um... So there's one lad over here and I don't know what to do about that. We can, I, I think that um, Dan can reach him. No. No, Dan cannot reach him. Okay, that's a problem. Who can reach him? I guess patience can reach him. Yeah, pretty comfortably actually. Okay, good enough. Um, and we'll see what we need to do after we spread some poison over here. Because she might have to back up and, and do some work over there. Oh, that was nice. Let's just like kind of focus... Oh, miss. Focus on these guys because they're, they're starting to become a problem. Um, that contagion is spread pretty good. Let's just like make sure we spread the contagion as much as possible. I really don't like these guys over here. I, I don't like what's happening there. How did we reach one panic? Tier one panic. Like, uh, it seems to me like what, what happened? 
to do that was it just someone entering it was it someone snuck by and i didn't see it well what, like how did that happen because we reached tier one panic and we it got locked in it's it's like we we can no longer come back from that which is really brutal i mean it, it's not gonna like really affect things too badly we're, we're already snowballing like really hard but it just kind of sucks that it happened at all hey that hurts oh right sorry <laughs> um i don't know what to do here okay this guy is um he's got a negative resistance oh we can't do follow-up i i think i officially hate the sledgehammer i think i hate the sledgehammer i don't think it's good i i dislike it for a number of reasons um yeah that's that's about it like uh, maybe i like i like it in theory but in practice it's just so annoying can we kill this thing right we just uh we have we just don't have enough damage over there at all uh, annoyingly all of our damage is over here and it's just like it feels like we're just there's nothing over here to actually fight um let's throw like three on that guy and two on that guy we missed did we miss like twice wow like I, i'm not complaining because paloma is helping quite a lot but that damage is just so bad <laughs> I have a feeling that Carmen's going to win us uh, Lake Berg. Like uh, the, the fact that she can nuke with plus 60 damage from isolation means we can build up her build her up. And actually, now that I think about it, we should just like have her run over because she's got a ridiculous movement point as well. In fact, she can already start doing some good stuff here. Uh, no point in using a potion. We'll see what happens. Who's got points left? Paloma. I'll leave Paloma over here. We'll see what happens over there. It, it looks like they're done over there. Blisters really are helping. Okay, he took a little tiny bit of damage. I guess they're doing a little bit of damage to the walls and stuff, so that does uh, add to panic. And we can have um, Paloma run over. I don't think he'll be able to reach, or she'll be able to reach anything, but, you know. Um, Jelenka. Jelenka, what can we, what can we have you do? We can have you kill a couple of... Actually, those are those are some of the only things that um, Carmen can kill without losing her buff. So why don't we just deal with that first? Um, and this guy, yeah, she just like nukes everything. Um, why don't we have her run over actually and kill this other bat? Perfect. That's like, it's like she was made for cleaning up a mess. Um, we could do like a fireball. There's actually a really decent fireball like right here. And then um, follow up. Yeah, there we go. And we spread that contagion. We could do another follow up. No, we can't. I, 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 yeah, I don't. The sledgehammer is just so weirdly restrictive. I think I might try something else. It means I'm gonna have to relearn again. But like, good lord, it's just, it's just so bad. That is to say, like, I'm, I'm bad with it. You know, kill that guy. Honestly, at this point, just use a potion. Um, and then continue killing whatever you want. Uh, wait, I guess she does. She's running a little bit out of, uh, 
she she needs to be able to like refuel sure kill these two lads easy we could also do an explosive bolt somewhere um if we could kill this lad i i'm again just like setting up kills for carmen uh dan is just not he doesn't have the damage to do anything he like he he removes resistance and that's what he does and he is useful at that but at actually like being helpful outside of that it's it's really not good patience is going to be able to destroy this whole group which is amazing um and actually let's just like we really need to do our due diligence i'll have her run over here and kill this guy too this night did not go as well as i'd hoped but that doesn't mean it you know went badly it, an a is still good you know an a is just is still better than passing um let's do this nice thing about um the contagion on stun is that you it incentivizes you to actually follow through with us with like killing someone who's stunned which is nice Uh, and I want to make sure I'm like near something that needs to be poisoned. Who's left? Carmen still has stuff she can do. Um, we could do an explosive bolt somewhere. I don't really see anywhere. I really don't want to remove her buff. I'm sorry. I'm going to be really annoying about it. Um, Paloma still has t stuff to do, but she can't really get to the action, unfortunately. So we'll, we're fine. Nice. Thank God for those ballistas. I, I'd hate to think that uh, every single game you should build ballistas. Like, I don't like the idea of... Like, I, I talked about this at the very beginning of the entire camp uh, game. But, like, the idea of objectively correct tactics, it, it feels very limiting to me. Like, if there's only one good decision, then there's no player agency, basically. Um... At the same time, you know, I, I, I like the blisters. I like them as an option. Um, so I don't know. Let's just make sure there's no one near her so that we can, she can get the full benefit. Who's that? Like some of these people never met Carmen. That's she's, she's clean up. She comes in and cleans up the mess. Um, does this give us movement? No, it doesn't. If we got some more movement, well, we could do something fun here, actually. So like, just like, hey, you move out of the way. I've got this. Kill. <laughs> Miss. Oh, no. Don't miss when you're being trying to be cool. That's that's embarrassing. How embarrassing? Um, who's left? Jelenka. Jelenka can't get over there. Paloma. Paloma can't really get over there. Her range sucks. I've got some really good stuff going on, and then at the same time, I I've, I feel like a couple of my characters are kind of duds. There we go. Damn! I broke a nail. Paloma's level 11. Jelenka finally leveled up. A. I'll take it, I guess. Did that miss move forward? What a what a kick in the butt. A prowess has been accomplished. Don't you fear the end of all magic? Art thou worried the last spell might be my undoing? It could be, though as thou sawest, breaking seals doesn't weaken me. I am gaining more substance by the minute. Through the strength of thy faith and the one of thy people, I shall withstand and grow. 
Um, we unlocked a new omen. Have a hero reach level 11. Have 50 traps get triggered by enemies. New omen. I do feel like ballistas are just like the easy mode. Spend 1,000 action points casting skills provided by crossbows. It it because like you really don't have to think about it. You can you have to think about placement, but placement is not very like higher higher strategic. You know, high strategy. New ability available for the seer structure. Rerolls the composition and direction of incoming enemies. How interesting is that? It does cost a worker though. We could get the alchemist, which gives us um, uh, potions, obviously. More uncommon items. More experience gained. Yeah. That just seems like an obvious one that we should have. And I'll take more uncommon items. Level up. More uncommon level up. Oh, I did I upgrade the wrong thing? I guess so. Maybe? I don't know. Who cares? Things are going well. Um, lots of people to level up. P patience leveled up twice again. <laughs> um, Jalenka, movement points for you is not terrible. Kind of like this dodge. She's actually got 24% dodge. Let's give her more dodge. Does she benefit from that at all? Armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. She's the, she's the one. She's the one that benefits from daily health regen. Let's give her dodge. I, I think that it's interesting. We'll have one person be able to dodge. Um, there's that daily health regen. She'll get uh, armor as well. Why not? Um, critical master. More critical power. One by one. When attacking a unit with full uh, health, the attack gets plus 15% critical. I just don't know what to do for Jelenka to fix her. She has propagation. What is that doing for her? Oh, I guess it, she is using a sledgehammer. Jelenka. How do I help you? We have opportunism. And in theory, that should like be helpful, but it's really not doing as much as you'd want. I almost feel like getting her a different weapon. I'm going to come back to this, actually. Carmen, you should be easier. More critical power. Every three isolated units killed, restore one action point. Not enough perk points? Did she not level up? Oh, my bad. Okay, Paloma, you leveled up. Exploit um, weakness, so she has uh, isolation as well. Opportunism is increased by 100% of the hero's resistance reduction. Uh, I don't really know what to do for her either. Paloma. Okay, hold on. When attacking a tile with... No, that's not good either. When I hear with dodges, <laughs> she does have 33% dodge. Um, quick reload, stun chance. Contagion, we could give her contagion. Just uh, give everyone contagion. Why not? Any negative alteration applied by the hero has an increased duration. We could do that. Whenever the hero is attacked, more damage healing received all the heroes armor is a transformed man I, i'm just not a huge fan of a lot of this when attacking with a mana consuming eh. temporary effect hindering the affected unit debuff stun poison and contagion so bully i mean bully could be nice if he works with any of the other crowd, which he won't. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really struggling with this one. Upgrades the jump over skill. Plus one range. Actually, there's an idea. Can we give him more range or her more range? Every 12 units killed at a distance of four or more equals more skill range. Yeah, let's do that. 
because her range is really restrictive giving her more armor uh, i guess i i have to give her more damage like there's just like no no question about it giving her more isolation is tempting but she doesn't actually benefit much from that because she's generally trying to split people up for carmen's sake um critical power could be good because well she's only got a five percent crit so i don't know about that she does spread poison but uh, ah, i kind of re-roll those re-roll those as well oh god it's so bad yeah i'm sorry that was awful dan dan i need you need i need a i need a win here resistance reduction sure i know there are other options there but um in theory this is the guy that you know add reduces people's re um resistance so that's the the right time to take that i would love to take poison but he doesn't actually spread any poison give him da daily health regen but i don't think that's good opportunism perfect That'll actually help. Oh, in theory, uh, I really feel like I'm maybe missing a crucial, important thing about that. Um, plus 30% damage and plus one use. I think that's good for him because I don't think that we're going to switch away from the book. So that that's work that works for him. Patience. Um, making her a human ballista seems like an interesting idea. If I could increase her poison, I would. Let's do this first. Um, increase her damage. I don't know if that increases her poison damage. I like to think that it does. Extra armor. Sure. Um, poison damage. There we go. A full 15%. And more poison damage. So that's an extra 30% poison damage she's doing. Um... Give her the blink skill. She's got a lot of movement. She's one of my highest movement um, characters. As long as there's no hero within a range of five. Yeah, you know what? Give her lone wolf. Any buff applied by the hero has increased. Uh, whatever. Fortress master, maybe. She does have defensive training, so that would actually benefit her. She did end up using a little bit of her mana. Whenever a critical hit is landed, restore one mana at the end of the hero's turn. Nah, not good. Every three isolated units killed, not good for her. I kind of want to just do Fortress Master. I think that that's great for her. And Natalie. Natalie, um, you did not really perform very well last last round, I won't, I won't lie. Extra skill range. We just need you to have more damage. I'm not going to lie. Specialist. Just make everyone a specialist. Sure. It's extra damage and it's extra use. Um, potent toxins would be good. Any poison applied by the hero has a decreased duration. I really wish that um, Patience would have had this route. That would have been amazing for her. Honestly... Is there a reason I couldn't switch him? Like, she's getting a lot of her poison damage from... Equipment, right? I guess the reason we can't is because she has propagation, which is like she spreads the poison farther. And we can't do that with Natalie. So, anytime... If ever I see that someone has poison and propagation, then I should make them like a, a super poison dealer. When attacking an enemy, enemy with at least 600 health, the attack gets plus 20% total damage increased by 2% every additional 120 max health up to 50%. There's so many weird things going on there, but I'll I'll, I'll consider that later. Um, so can we improve you? We can improve your damage. Sure. It's not great. I won't lie. daily health regen is she's the one right she's not the one she's not the one there's only one all right reliability i guess me as well all right that's everyone leveled up let's see what kind of items we get i might be switching um the sledgehammer i might consider a two-handed sword 
extra dodge and extra multi hits. What does that do? Let's switch to Jelenka and see what that might do for her. So the sword, does it have multi hits? It has momentum. Doesn't really have any multi hits. So what is the point? That's the, one of the weird things about this game is like, why does a weapon or why does any item have a stat like that that uh, basically adds nothing like the only reason that this would be good is if i gave her also a scroll that had it multi hits which sure you know that'd be nice i guess um she has stun and i think she needs to keep this like she actually has a decent stun right she has that plus 15 percent stun so that's why I'm like having her keep the sledgehammer, I guess. Stun 60%. So it's, it's just so that she can use hammer strike. And I didn't give her her perk. Um, I don't know. I still don't know about her mana perk. Every two mana spent equals plus three block. I mean, sure. Makes her tank here, I suppose. Um, yeah, I don't know about any of this. Plus 55 armor, plus 40 health, negative one move point. Uh, let's, I'm going to reroll these. Decent armor with dodge, daily health regen, and mana. Sure, we'll do that. I know someone can use that. A better, well, a good hand, one hand cross, hand crossbow. I mean, it's not as good as the one that is currently equipped to. The only one that, that would work with is Paloma. And let's compare. Um, it does actually do more damage, but the one she's got equipped is has extra armor, resistance, experience gain, mana. So it's just like really good. Um... Extra damage is tempting, I won't lie. Uh, this one's probably even better, huh? Yeah, it is. Well, it, yeah, let's, we'll take that. I don't, I'm not a huge fan, but... Man, this stuff sucks. We need to upgrade these, uh, shops. I'll just, like, take stuff, but... Extra critical power, less move. Uh, less dodge, more health, more critical, more daily health regen. Decent pants. All right, let's uh, let's equip some stuff. I need to find out who it is that has that stupid um, health or health regen equals um, actual damage. Oh wow, I keep forgetting that patience has that mark skill, and I keep not using that at all. Who is it? Who is it that's got the the daily health regen is equal to damage? Is it you, Paloma? current mana I don't think is anyone I, I, I think I keep inventing that stat and then occasionally I'll come across it I know I know it exists sort of but I keep losing track of it is it Natalie someone has it whatever I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bored with this um give you a helmet do you uh what, how's your pants doing pants are fine these are better off they offer less damage though which is fine oh you don't even have a trinket oh these isolation boots well yeah i mean the isolation boots are fine for someone oh, i had poison daggers and i didn't hand them out i was gonna give that to patience i think yeah that uh, extra the, the extra poison damage was going to be great. She's like a real powerhouse. Honestly, I think she could have taken a whole side for herself. I'm not even kidding. I think that she's got the chops to completely dominate an entire side. Um. Wow, you have a one. We should give you like a hand crossbow or something. Let, let's um. Let's give you. Oh wait, I guess I'm looking for a one like offhand weapon. So that's my bad. Um, yeah, I guess I will switch you up. I mean, like, what's 
the main loss here honestly is the, the experience gain that's the only reason not to do that but um yeah you need you need some kind of offhand something literally anything um i don't know where i'm gonna get that maybe i guess the store but let's uh let's do this first um is there any there's a bunch of piles that we should do so let's do these piles um before i st start doing a lot of that let's make sure that we can afford like our i don't know if uh, i should do repel mist I think it's where it is now. I'm pretty comfortable. I guess we can see like um, not how far it can go, but like not not how far it will go, but how far it can go. Definitely, we need to do guess where or whatever it's called. I kind of want to just have patience here. I might put patience here. Or um, Carmen and Paloma, because Carmen and Paloma are a great match. Maybe we'll put uh, patience here. And actually, yeah, I think we should dedicate some to Repel Mist. So I do want to do a little bit of planning. Um, Patience, you can go here. And um, Carmen here. Actually, we'll put Carmen like here and therefore she can like maybe if things get really bad over here because the, the freaking... Well, who's going to watch this side? I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. We have to we have to protect all sides now. I guess um, we'll have Talenka and Natalie. No, we need to have, we need to combo one of these guys with Dan. I'm a little bit worried. Carmen can watch this side. So I I don't know. I don't think Talenka has what it takes to take on a whole side, but we're going to do it. Um, I definitely think that Paloma and Carmen can watch one side here. But anyway, um, so we have six workers left. Let's start by getting some resources, some, some materials. We'll do three workers. Why don't we just be super lazy and do like three workers each and maybe we'll also grab an extra item 500 to buy to, to upgrade the boyer again Let's do it. What else are we gonna spend our money on? I'm sure there's something. Let's just like double check what we can build Um, Kind of nothing I'd rather just have really good range weapons Wait upgrade group Increases the level of crafted items. Oh, this works for everything. I didn't realize that. That's actually, that makes that upgrade so much better. I thought it was, I was spending 500 gold to upgrade just the boyer. Um, in that case, we could throw it. Well, actually, I'd like to spend a bit of money on like actual items. So let's do that real quick. I think I want to sell this hand crossbow. I don't think I like it. Um, Dan, can we get you a better... Yeah, that book is better. It does more damage and it has more mana. I can't conceive of a reason not to get you a better book. We're going to sell this crossbow. I think that epic doesn't necessarily mean just like better. It's just like, I think it's... They're, they, they are level based, you know? Um... Similarly, I think that Dan is um, gonna be better off with that book and we'll sell this book. I should give this pants to someone. I don't know who yet. Potion of Strength, uh, that would be good for someone. Probably Jelenka. We have another one as well. Sure. And then I'm gonna reroll. Unless there's, is there an offhand weapon? One hand. I don't think that, like, does off one hand mean offhand? I don't think it does. S the steel hammer actually looks like it could be good. Where is um? 
Natalie, is this better than what you're using? It is a little bit. Now, for it has a better stun chance as well. I am thinking, honestly, we switch um, Jelenka to uh, just a normal hammer. But that maybe I'm wrong because like it's not like um, it's it's not like uh, Natalie has been doing all that well. I'm gonna reroll these. Poison damage. Oh, you know what? Let's buy that. I'm gonna buy that. Never mind. I can't afford it. I wish I could lock it. So never mind. <laughs> uh, I was gonna buy this and give it to Natalie because she does really good poison damage. And I haven't tried. I haven't had a chance to try the uh, spear yet. But oh, oh well, bummer. Um. There's some cool stuff here, but I can't really afford any of the good stuff. I guess spiked greaves, maybe? Extra armor, damage, accuracy, block. Sure, someone can use this. Wish I could get an offhand weapon for uh, Natalie. Um, do you need more? Oh, I didn't dedicate any workers. Oh, cool. I haven't I haven't used up all my workers yet. I was thinking I I haven't de dedicated any of my any workers for um mana yet and like health and stuff i don't think anyone took any damage but you know okay we're gonna give you a strength potion and i'm gonna give um natalie a strength potion do you have good pants you do have good pants does everyone have good pants paloma doesn't have good pants you could you could do with better pants less dodge value less dodge value Less dodge value. They, I, I only have pants that offer less dodge value. I guess I don't value dodge value very much. Um, let's give you this. At least it shows I care, you know? Dan, uh, we'll give you spiked greaves plus two. Patience, you have great pants. <laughs> I think it's weird talking about people's pants like this. Um, all right, so we do want to make sure that everyone has mana. I think the only one is patience that could use some more mana So let's actually dedicate that to her. We'll dedicate both of them to her. She actually uses more mana than basically anyone else Oh, I should upgrade benediction And we'll do one worker for restore mana. There we go. Perfect. Um, and I kind of want to do two more work. Everyone's at full health, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I do want to do the rest of my workers. Um, well, we might as well do these because they uh, pay out more materials than just doing materials. But I do want to do more materials. There's another one of those. I will grab it. Doesn't look like there is. So let's just put it towards materials. So we have 1200 materials to play with. Um, we can, I mean, I think everyone's got full health, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, all right, and then we're gonna build some structures. We could definitely do, you know what? We should do um, a watchtower. Uh, I, I didn't really super enjoy the watchtower. And the fact that you can only build it within city walls is kind of a pain in the butt. Let's repair defenses. And apparently structures? What got damaged? Oh, that house took damage. That must be why we uh, we generated a tier 1 panic. Okay. Um, everything is fully upgraded, right? So we just gotta, like, start working towards... Um, mounting all of the ballistas and then um building some walls around them so let's uh let's build a couple walls here looks good uh i actually kind of want to destroy this just because i like that that is creating a f false sense of security oh never mind i thought that that was a place i could build some wall but turns out no in fact um, all right, let's raise a couple of these. I'm not going to fix up this side. I think that, um, patience is just fine over there. Yeah, 
If I can pretty much... Oh, that one's not fully upgraded. Good, good thing I caught it. If I can, um, like, mount pretty much all of the ballistas, then um, next round I should be able... And the next is the next production phase is, I believe, the last one before the boss. Then I can just focus on building walls. And, uh, you know, we're like, we're in the home stretch of stuff. Uh, we're going to get pretty close. I think we can actually do it. One more. Cool. Uh, I think that's all of them. I don't think that there's any... Oh, no, there's one more. It does kind of clean us out of all of our materials. Um... There's, there's no more, right? It's easy to miss some. So why don't we just do some more traps for now? Uh, I think over here we could use some more traps. Just like, you know, in the back. And actually like over here would be good because then it'll help catch a couple of the, uh, a couple of monsters that managed to stray um and i think that that is going to do it i don't think that there's anything else i need to do everyone's placed well ish um jelenka jelenka's basically i'm gonna hope that her just like her poison passive is gonna be enough to to kind of shred enemies a little bit before the the ballistas take them out it's kind of what i'm hoping for for her um, patience is a rock star. I think that she'll she'll be great um, And I think that that's it. So that's gonna do it for the episode um, If you're enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this I'll see you guys next time Take it easy